You're going to save on postage, uh, personnel costs for driving pleadings to the uh, courthouse, and like I said, records retention, I think, is enhanced significantly, not only as to ease of access and retrieval, but also as to security. I'm Judge Randy Koshnick. I'm the Chief Judge for District 3, and I'm uh, representing the Chief Judge Committee. We have, we have filed a petition with the State Supreme Court uh, asking them to enact a rule that would make e-filing mandatory uh, in Wisconsin. Well, we feel that e-filing is inevitable, uh, much like email and paying bills online has become commonly accepted. Uh, electronic filing is, is very efficient. It's a very efficient way to file court documents, to maintain records that enhances secure storage. And so we thought it would be better to have a methodical, well thought out plan for implementation rather than sort of doing it haphazard. The rule, the way it's proposed, requires all lawyers to be e-filers. So in any case that's filed in Wisconsin, uh, any lawyer on the case would have to register as an e-filer, uh, pay the e-filing fee, which would be less than $6, one time per case, and then they have access to the entire electronic court record on their office or home computer. Uh, there are some exceptions. Pro se litigants, as long as you don't file more than 10 cases per year, are exempted from the rule. And um, the fee is going to be waived for any uh, indigent clients or for government agencies such as the public defender, district attorney, child support agencies. So I think it's important to, to point out that we're not changing any substantive law. We're simply trying to implement a system that will allow us to do things electronically rather than on paper. If your law office now types up a pleading and then files it with the court, the only thing that's really going to change as a practical matter is instead of printing it out, signing it, and putting a stamp on it, or driving it to the courthouse, you'd be able to hit send and file it over the internet. The petition has been scheduled for hearing by the State Supreme Court March 17, 2015, and we propose in the petition that the rollout take place over a three-year period, January of 2016 through December of 2018, um, and we'll be implementing it in a county-by-county county basis. We'll be taking the counties that are interested in implementing it first, and we'll have CCAP support people on the ground prior to launch and during the launch to work with county bar associations, law offices, government users, and others who uh, are interested in learning how to use the system. I'm Judge Gerald Patak, a judge in Racine County. I'm a member of the CCAP Steering Committee, which oversees the um, computer system and the, the electronic uh, records in the court system. And uh, we're here on behalf of the CCAP Steering Committee and the Director's Office asking the Board of Governors to approve a petition that relates to confidentiality of certain information in court records. What it'll do is it'll help protect um, people who are filers or people in parties and cases in terms of their confidentiality of records. Um, also it'll protect them from identity theft. It requires that when documents are filed, certain identifiers such as social security numbers, um, financial record numbers, uh, passport numbers, driver's license numbers, and so on, be and not put in documents, basically. It's the responsibility of the filer of the documents to keep the information out of the records. It's not the responsibility of the courts. It can't be broadened up, but parties can file documents that they want to be kept confidential in a way that is per initially filed confidential, but then requires a court hearing uh, if the other party would object, for example, uh, to the document being uh, confidential. Things I can think of that are already required in law to be confidential are already going to be filed in that way, such as um, financial disclosure statements and divorces. Things that are required in law to be filed confidentially uh, will be filed confidentially, but if something else, for example, a medical record, um, a trade secret in a corporation is wanted to be kept secret, then a uh, form is filed with the document that preliminarily keeps it confidential until the other parties and the court can weigh in and decide whether it should or should not be.